in the mechanism of blood clot there are three steps one is formation of prothrombin activator the second step is conversion of prothrombin to thrombin the third step is conversion of fibrinogen to fibril at the time of blood clotting ultimately a fibrin mesh is formed but the formation of fibrin mesh is the third step before that there is conversion of fib prothrombin to thrombin before that there is formation of prothrombin activator now first step we start with the first step the formation of prothrombin activator in this process of formation of prothrombin activator there are two mechanisms involving this an intrinsic pathway and an extrinsic pathway intrinsic pathway means prothrombin activator is formed because of substances present in the blood it is initiated by blood platelets and extrinsic pathway means it is formed by substances present outside the blood so it occurs generally inside the tissues that is the extrinsic path so we will start with the intrinsic pathway now during intrinsic pathway the prothrombin activator is formed by substances present in the blood it is initiated by blood platelets now whenever at the beginning of the intrinsic pathway the first step is activation of factor number 12 factor number 12 is in an active state so whenever the factor number 12 comes in contact with the collagenous fibers we are already aware of the fact that collagen is present in tunica externa of blood vessels so when factor number 12 comes in contact with that collagen it is activated a means activated activated factor number 12 hmm? so this is the first factor which is activated factor number 12 is nothing but hegman's factor so hegman's factor is activated on coming in contact with collagen next step is activation of factor number 11 the activation of factor number 11 requires factor number 12 this activated factor number 12 comes and activates factor number 11 this this process also requires high molecular weight kininogen and procalicrin so two other substances are also required in that process activated factor number 12 in presence of high molecular weight kininogen and procalicrin converts the inactive factor number 11 to activated factor number 11 the third step is activation of factor number 9 factor number 9 the factor number 9 is activated in the presence of fact activated factor number 11 and calcium ions 
calcium ions wherever we come across calcium ions it is factor number 4 I mean calcium ions of plasma and then the next step is activation of factor number 10 factor number 10 is activated in presence of factor number 9 activated factor number 9 converts factor number 10 into active form and in this process we also required factor number 8 and calcium ions so factor number 10 is activated in the presence of active factor number 9 as well as factor number 8 as well as calcium ions calcium ions is factor number 4 so this factor number 10 it joins with factor number 5 and phospholipids the phospholipids come from blood platelets when they come when the blood platelets they come in contact with the same collagen same collagen collagen whenever I, I mean collagen it means that the blood vessel is broken it is exposed and blood platelets have come in contact with that collagen so they have released phospholipids so that phospholipids activated factor number 10 and activated factor number 5 factor number 5 in presence of calcium ions again in the presence of calcium ions finally will produce prothrombin activate so that that's the final step in the intrinsic pathway in intrinsic pathway the prothrombin activator is produced by substances present inside the blood itself it is initiated by blood platelets blood platelets are present inside the blood itself so in intrinsic pathway during the formation of prothrombin activator we can see a cascade of reactions starting with activation of factor number 12 factor number 12 is activated on coming in contact with collagen and that activated factor number 12 in presence of kininogen high molecular weight kininogen and procalicrine will activate factor number 11 the activated factor number 11 in presence of calcium ions will activate factor number 9 the activated factor 9 in presence of factor number 8 as well as calcium ions will activate factor number 10 so this activated factor number 10 in presence of factor number 5 and phospholipids produced from blood platelets the blood platelets are releasing phospholipids when they come in contact with the collagen the same collage so a combination of these three factor number activating factor number 10 phospholipids coming from blood platelets and factor number 5 in presence of calcium ions will finally produce prothrombin activate so this is what's happening in the intrinsic pathway